It's now autumn, October 2021, 20 months since the pandemic began to change our lives, and 20 months of constant strain for healthcare workers. October is Healthcare Heroes Month, where we can take a moment to acknowledge what healthcare workers have been doing for us for these 20 months. And to get their perspective, we spoke to Chief Operating Officer at St. Clair Hospital, Lois Erickson. So emotions have really um, wavered and, and changed throughout this whole journey for our staff. Early on, it was actually a little bit exciting because it was new and different. Now that we've been at this for 20 months, they've been, they've been feeling tired. They're a little bit frustrated because they want to do everything in their, in their power to get patients better. And the, the population that we're seeing now with the new variant is much sicker and much younger, and we're losing more patients. And so they've been um, it's very saddened by the situation that they're in now um, and feeling um, somewhat discouraged. And I think they're also getting tired. They're working really, really hard. That's what they do. They're here for the community. And as things are continuing and feeling like we're still seeing patients come into the hospital that are pretty sick, they're, they're getting a somewhat discouraged. In addition, our hospital is really full right now. We're at 120 to 130% capacity. So that means we're taking care of 20 to 30 more patients than we have beds. So the best thing that you can do is to take care of yourself and your health in general so that you're not needing to come into the hospital. And I wanna give a big shout out to our Lakewood community. Throughout this journey, we have received overwhelming support from our local community, whether that be in the form of, of meals that are delivered, treats, goodies, kind notes, kind letters. All of those things have really made a difference to our team and have helped us keep going. It's those little things that really make a difference in the moments of discouragement and sadness. So we really appreciate that. And I would ask that you continue to uh, give that support to any healthcare providers that you may know of and help us overcome this pandemic together as a community, because we really are in this together as a hospital and as a community. So what has the experience been like for healthcare workers during this pandemic? It's been emotional. It's been really somewhat of a roller coaster for our team. Things have constantly been changing and that's necessary because this is a new situation that we're in as we're learning about the virus, but that's been difficult for the staff as they've had to adjust how they do their work. They've also had moments of sadness as they've had to deal with loss of patients that they've been working really hard to, to save and to keep healthy. Uh, they feel discouraged. We've run short on supplies at times where they've had to, to uh, figure out how they're gonna manage their having enough masks to wear for their patients um, to keep them safe and to keep their patients safe. So that's been scary for them. Uh, yet they've all stuck together and rallied and remained compassionate to them. That is their number one goal while they're here is taking care of our community and our patients and uh, providing that kind, compassionate care because that's really why we're all here as nurses right now.